Hello everyone, Juggalo Zen back at it again, Schlub and Numbnet. Back with another installment of Schlub Gaming. Yes, I know it's been a while. And um, today I bring to you Cursed or Cursed? Because <laughs> this game has punctuation in the title. So this is a print and play game that a buddy of mine found on a website called uh was it thegamecrafter.com. And this is where many uh passionate aspiring game designers take their board games, uh put them on this website. And some of them will have print and play. Some of them will was it will let you can order them to be printed on demand on that site. So just a, a lot of you know was it very unique designs that you're not going to find in stores and such. So this was one game that a buddy of mine saw and thought that it would be interesting. This is a solo player game, and what I also find very interesting about this is that the designer of the game has made absolute use of every every inch of the card. Every card, because it's not a lot of cards, but every card has multiple, multiple uses. So, the objective of the game. You've been cursed by a witch. You are quickly dying. Everything you touch turns to ash after just a few moments. She promises to lift the curse and let you go if you capture eight monster souls from the nearby forest for her. Can you capture them using only the weapons and items you find in the forest left behind by unlucky adventurers? Your draw pile is also your remaining life. Run on and it's game over. If you manage to get eight souls, then the witch lifts the curse and you win. Keep playing as ga keep playing as gaining more than eight can act as a high score. So, the cards basically break down. It's like so. Here you have you have a monster. So there's a monster, just like this frog wizard, and his power is eight. And then on the sides of each card, you have weapons. So this says what type of weapon it is. So this staff is a ranged weapon, and it deals four. So there's plenty of other weapons here. So there's great sword that's melee and it deals five. Spear is either melee or ranged, and it deals three. And you have to choose when you play this card whether it's a melee attack or a ranged attack. And uh, let me see, was it a uh, daggers? So this particular dagger is melee, and it's it'll either deal one damage or six damage, and you have to lock that in when you use the. We use the dagger. Fireball deals five and it's ranged. Short bow is ranged and deals two. Uh, where's the throwing dagger? Throwing daggers. So there's the difference there between. Oh, they were right next to each other. Look at that. So here you have throwing daggers and daggers. So they do the same thing where you choose to to lock in either one or six. But throwing daggers is a ranged weapon, and dagger is a melee weapon. So monster. Ooh. the weapons that you find in the forest and then items so this one is like a large backpack take a weapon from the discard pile and keep it with your items for use when needed so how the game plays is you're trying to so um in the very beginning you draw an item and then you so you take that item into the forest with you and then you you draw a card and that's going to be your monster and then you draw cards to use as weapons, trying to get as close to the monster's power without going over. If you go over, you either choose to like end the battle, or you, uh, what was it, uh, or you keep drawing and you discard that card. So every card used, every card that's out of your hand, is less life. This is this is the amount of time you have to collect eight souls. So let's just play through and you'll get it real quick. So here we go. So I'm going to draw an item. So this here is Frenzy Potion. Your initial weapon strike hits for double and ignores monster traits. Monster traits are interesting things. So we'll see here. So, so, so that's my item. So now I'm going to draw my first monster. So here we go. And here we have a trait. So here we got this bat with a power of seven and it has flying. The first melee attack deals no damage. So it nullifies the first melee attack. So I'm trying to get up to seven and any melee attack, the first melee attack card that, that is used against him is gonna be basically zero. So here I have ax for two. So I could, if I wanted to, use the frenzy potion to make that hit for four and it would ignore the melee attack thing. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might actually do that. So we're gonna go ahead and have the axe. 
have the axe, and I'm going to use the frenzy potion to make it hit for four. And I'm ignoring the flying. So, hopefully, because it, it, the first melee attack deals no damage, but now I've done a melee attack, and that ignores it, so that should be good. So that's four, and then I have spear. I will choose to make that ranged, just in case to get by the rules. So that is a total of seven. So now I have defeated the monster perfect by doing four and three to make seven. Didn't go over. So everything that was used will go into a discard pile. Your graveyard, if you know, was it for magic players out there. And then I will claim this monster's soul. And now I will continue. So here we go. So now we have this guy. So this guy has a power of five and he explodes. So I'm only allowed to hit him with one attack and then he explodes. So we'll have to see what I draw. Oh, that's terrible. So that's axe. So I only get to hit him once with this two power axe. So I will claim this monster's soul but three damage is gonna be dealt to me because the fight has to end here and it was two minus five is three. So. That's three hit points. One, two, three into my graveyard. Put the used weapon into the graveyard. And then I claim that monster's soul. So this is how the game plays. So here we go. Ah, so now we got this spicy knight with a big old power of 11. But he's guarding a chest. So let's start fighting. So that's three towards that 11. Another three towards that 11, so that's six. And then four for 10. So I'm gonna end it there. So that's, these go to the graveyard. I claim this monster's soul, but he was guarding a chest. So what happens is you take the discard pile, you give it a little shovel. Now mind you, I got the print and play version of this, so I don't have cardstock, cardstock, and my cuts aren't perfect, but this gives me something functional. To play. And now I take one card, and I have my item, so large backpack. Take a weapon card from the discard pile and keep it with your items for use when needed. So you don't want to, hmm. Let's keep that there, because who knows what we're going to run into. Alright, so here we go. Next creature, another explodey boy. So I think I'm going to use the large backpack now. I'm going to look over the weapons that I have. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this dagger. So the large pack pack goes away. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this dagger and I'm gonna claim it for six. Now, if you go over with one card, you're fine. But when you have multiple cards and it goes over, you're not fine and you either have to keep going or you have to stop the attack. So I choose that to be six on one card. That's cool. So I take no damage back. That goes to the, to the discard pile. And then I claim another monster soul. So then we continue. So then we got Lizard Man here. And Lizard Man has Evasive, where it's the first even value weapon deals nothing to him. So we're going to go ahead, start drawing, fireball spell, so that's five, cool, and then spear, eight, so I'm going to stop it there, so these will go here, I will claim this monster's soul, and I take one damage because that was eight out of nine, alrighty, so here we go, we got frog wizard with eight, Short bow deals two. Great sword deals five, so that's seven. I don't know if I can get, well, it's not worth taking the damage in my opinion, so we'll take one damage. Claim the monster soul, two more souls to go. So here we got ethereal. So the first odd value deals no damage. Alrighty. So then we will, ah, two, the spear deals nothing, 
And then the sword deals four, so that's six. I only have four. I need to go. Short bow deals two. That's eight. So then these guys go to the graveyard. So I have one more soul left to collect, but I have three cards. It's possible. Flying. So the first melee damage. Oh, mm, that's rough. That's rough. And staff for four. Here we go. Here we go. Throwing daggers. Oh, man. Oh. If I had gotten that throwing daggers first. So I would have to make that one five, but I can't pay the two, so I can't collect that soul. So I had seven souls out of the eight, and I remain cursed. So that's how this game plays. So let's try another hand, shall we? So it is a it is a press your luck game, and it has a little bit, you know, it kind of feels like you know you don't want to go over with that you know twenty one. Now, in personal gold fishing, I have beaten the game. But, you know, it's, it, like it, with anything that has, you know, cards and orders and stuff like that, it's all luck driven. And there's some pretty neat items that you can get. So here we go. So we'll get an item. So this is Whetstone, plus three damage to a single weapon. Okie doke. So my first monster is Crocodile Man with a power of 11. So we'll do four, nine. Let's see if we can get a short weapon. 9, 10, 11, 12. Can't do it. So that's discarded. I don't want to lose anymore. So so that's 9, 10, 11. I claim his soul. But I now have treasure chest. So I will get an item. And that is Scroll of Purging Light. Ooh, that's a good one. Instantly capture a monster's soul when used ignores monster traits. That's great. That's just like that's just a like kill spell. That's a power word kill. So here we go. Boom. Frog for eight. So here we go. Dagger. Um. Whew. Alright, let's... I don't want to lose any more freaking points. Every point is precious. So let's just say one. So spear for three. I'm going to go ahead and use the wet zone to give it plus three. So that's six, seven. So then we'll kill the monster. One hit point gets lost. Alright, so here we go. Another crocodile man. It's eleven. I'm gonna go ahead and do use the scroll to take the monster. But that also has a treasure chest, so let's go ahead and use the treasure chest. You know which games I won? Was it when you find a mimic? Mimics are really small monsters. Uh, soul crystal. Take no additional damage if you attack over a monster's power. Very good. Ignore the traits. So here we go. So the monster I have is Werewolf for 10. That also has a treasure chest, which is good. So then we have Spear for 3. I'll say melee. Doesn't matter with this monster. Shortbow for 2, so that's 5 out of the 10. 9. 9. I'm still going to lose a point anyway. It would still cost me another card either way. So I'm going to go ahead and end the battle here. 9. And then one hit point ten. Claim the soul. Use the treasure chest. Mimic. So now I fight a mimic. So the mimic has a power of four. So fireball. So if you go over with a single card, it's fine. So I will claim that monster soul. Very good. Very good. Next monster is Evasive, so the first even value deals no damage. Uh, <laughs> I might end up having to use a Soul Crystal on that, we'll see. 
Mm. Mm. So that axe deals nothing. <sighs> okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use the soul crystal. So I ignore the traits, which is the evasive. So it's gonna deal two damage to the monster at seven. And I can attack over safely, so I'll do throwing daggers for six, because Soul Crystals lets me attack over. So, right, was it take no additional damage if you attack over? Yep. So all of that goes to the graveyard. I claim his soul. Explodes. Four, that's good, that's good. So that monster's defeated. And I lose one hit point. Ooh. That's plenty of cards. I might be able to do it. Ethereal. First odd number is negated. So that greatsword is negated. That's sad. Dagger. I'll do six. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's what I'm doing. So six. Seven, eight. And I claim his soul. And boom. I have eight monster souls. I give back to the witch. And I am not cursed anymore. The curse is lifted. So... I find this game to be just just a clever use. It's a it's it's a micro game. It's a filler filler game of most most high, but just clever use of the cards. Just so much you can do so much little. Every little space is used here. Was it open space to put the abilities of the creatures? Open space to show you the um, that oh hey it's guarding treasure and then you use your graveyard again. Um, was it there's the weapons that you use. Here's the abilities, and even one of them is a mimic. So it's like you open up a treasure chest, and oh, look, it's a mimic. It was, I mean, that is so cool. It's just, it's just a beautiful little, beautiful little idea, and it's really inspiring to somebody like me who wants to dabble in the space. So, uh, again, was it? This is found on uh, thegamecrafter.com. I'll see if uh, this old schlub can figure out how to put that into the comments, and maybe, um, uh, was it in the description, and maybe a pinned comment. We'll see if this old schlub can figure it out. So thank you very much for joining me on this one. If you like my quirky content, like, comment, share, subscribe. Booster Schlub's numbers. Thank you once again. Stay schlubby, my friends.